Let me press. I'm gonna press all the buttons, and then uh, I'll let you know when we stream. It. Oh, let me show you the song. So we're live. I'm going to show you the song first, and then we'll do the introduction. Oh, cool. <laughs> is it... Um, oh, you're going to guess? Okay. Copyrighted? Is it what? Is it copyrighted? Copyright? Oh, shoot. That's right. Fuck. I'll show, I'll, show, I'll show you later. Or you want me You want me to sing it to you? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Let me, pull up, let me pull up the lyrics. Uh... I believe I can fly. All right, so it's by David Kushner. Does that sound familiar? No. Okay. David Kushner. Okay, what about Daylight? What about the song Daylight? It's called Daylight. Does that sound familiar? Mm. Maybe. Daylight? Is that a Christian song? Dude, it sounds. It's it's got it's got that kind of vibe to it, man. It's got that kind of vibe David. to it. Kushner. So David Kushner, Daylight. Hmm. Okay, so the course, the course, the main part is, oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Oh. You and I drink the poison from the same vine. No, oh, I hmm. love it and I hate it at the same time. Hmm. Damn, man, I love this song, dog. Hiding from the sin, from the daylight. From, from the, the daylight. daylight, running from the running daylight. From Damn. From the daylight, running from the daylight. Damn. You oh. know, uh, that song, that's a good song. Bro. That's Yeah, that song came on, uh, I think I was on like a pop station, I think. Yeah. Um, That shit came on, I was like, it sounded like, what's this guy's name? Uh, Hosier, Hosier. Uh, yeah, 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 Hosier. He always sings these uh, the sinful yelling, yelling shit. type of, you know, churchy kind of yeah, song so cool rock alternative but yeah dude I, you I, know what's funny? I, go ahead huh? what's funny i was up uh, yeah i was that song came on and i was like man this is a good song maybe i should save it and i was like nah it's, it's gonna turn on again one day <laughs> <laughs> here it is man you know what i'm saying but uh Crazy, i heard that song dude man i just i was like man why does this song like really speak to my soul man you know Mm. And then uh, I look up the lyrics, and then I looked up, you know, what it meant, or, or, or why the 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 artist, you know, wrote it, and I'll just like, it makes sense, man, you know, because of all of, you know, this this shit. But it, Wait, it was why good. Did he, uh, why did he? So it? he explains each course. Um, okay. uh, uh, I think the the message that speaks to me the most is just like, like, um, like uh, I guess. Like, as you're living your life, you know, you turn to these things that are good and bad. And you, you're kind of at a crossroad. And, you know, you're seeking for the light, right? And, and yeah. forgiveness and, and stuff like that. And things just kind of don't make sense. So so I, I'd really fuck with that message, man. Because it just speaks to mm. kind of like a day-to-day -day basis. Or or in moments mm -hmm. where, where I'm kind of at a crossroads. And... I just that shit was on that's that's been on repeat for the past two days, man. And every time I hear it, I just I just a little bit of me want to cry and just just like sing the chorus, man. But yeah, I'm um, reading. That reminds me of um, daily battles of you know being sinful, and um, yeah, like like you said, the cr that crossroad yeah. is what the song's about you know oh yeah so um what up it's your boy peter your co-host of the make it rain podcast and this is frank oh, make it rain podcast welcome guys uh welcome to the thursday night podcast me and peter are always here every thursday you already know we're here to give you guys bad advice and um oh yeah baby <laughs> two dudes um, two dudes in a podcast you know what i'm saying uh you already know every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, shout out to the Patreon supporter, Johnny and Yong Yi. 
and uh, Frankie. Uh, thanks for supporting our dreams. Always better. Cool, man. Um, Santana said, what song are we talking about? We are talking about the song called Daylight by David Kushner. Um, sounds like Hauser, Hoser. Yeah. You know, the dude's 23, man. Uh, dude, 23 years old, made a big hit song, and he's touring and stuff. I think it's a, I think it was a 2023 song, actually. I yeah, discovered. released in 2023. Yeah. Man, this song was just hitting it. Man, this guy knows what he's doing. It's just, you know, passionate, um, like, speaking to a heart, man. This guy seems like he knows what he's doing, and he deserves it. He deserves it all. He deserves to, you know, spread his message around and and sing. And um, Great, great songwriter, smart. dude. You know, the, the audio, whoever engineered that, you know, song, that track. Great job because his live performance is weak. <laughs> hey, he's still young. He's still young. <laughs> yeah, he's still young, but man, he, he's uh, you know, I I got a video that that'll tie back into this, but but it's you know his live performance okay. was weak. <laughs> needless dope, dope. needless to say, um, but a shout out to Satana. What up? I see your message. You said uh, you know, I got a, I did get a camera upgrade. Uh, she noticed. Cause like when I when I actually saw it for the first time, I was like, it doesn't look too different. You know what I did with my settings is just more of a color grade, and you know there, where there's there's no camera shake anymore. Like when I shake this shit, it's it's stabilized. Um, there's no lag, right? There's no lag issue no more. So there's that. Me and uh, Peter has traced spots. I've uh, downgraded <laughs> right now. And uh, he has been upgraded. I'm the new Frank. So that's what it is. I'm the yeah, one with the gear now. Who switched gears? Um, uh, Yang, what's up, Yang? What's going on? Uh, the agenda today is more of a chill day today, guys. Um, a lot of been a lot of things have been going on, and we just kind of want to just talk and share some thoughts with you guys, and and um, yeah. Oh, you see Ying's uh you see Ying's comment? She said it's so cold why he got his shirt off. <laughs> hey, he's hot right now. Peter's hot right that's now. What, that's, she, that's, what you, that's what Ying said. She said, Topic's so hot, shirts off. Must be fire, dog. No, that's hilarious, dude. <laughs> that's funny. Uh she knows. She knows. Uh, so then I said, how's your both of your mental health lately? Ooh, um, man, what a great question, man. You know, you gonna go first? I say mine's uh, mine's okay. I think um, you know I'm only uh, you know one of our episode uh, we announced that I'm 27, but uh, with being 27, uh, four kids, married, happily married, taking care of my mom, uh, life. You know, like, like I'm not old, you know what I'm saying? I'm still kind of young, but not young at the same time. And so I'm going through life struggle at this period of chapter in my life where, like, I'm trying to figure things out. I'm always figuring things out. But, like, when you're responsible for other people other than yourself, you know, it, it definitely changes things up. Pressures there. And, and sometimes I feel like the pressure is just in my head. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm making up, you know... I'm creating my own anxieties is what it feels like sometimes and but then like the weight of my decisions don't just affect me you know so there's that as well and so like I can't like and then and then for me in my life you know just kind of as of recently when I when I let go of the gas pedal right when I'm not always you know on top of things you know and when I started start to be lazy and then I start to just kind of you know, let things go, and and then you know a shit storm is just brewing around the corner, and, and then that hits me, and then I'm just like, oh fuck, you know, there's no days off for me. Um, so so that's where my mental health is right now. I mean, I'm, die, you know, what I'm saying we were just literally talking about this that like, like before the before we went live is just life is gonna happen. You know, what I'm saying uh, life is not gonna break me. You know, cause I. How did I word it? I forgot how the fuck I word it, but like, so when ah, I forgot how I forgot how I worded it, but but uh, my mental health is great, man. Um, you know, staying focused on on my goals is is what's keeping me, you know, 
on track. You know what I'm saying? There's days where I feel however I feel, but it's just, you know, my goal, my end goal. This is a this is a long term type of life that I'm trying to do legacy, right? And so if I keep my eyes on that, then you know, my mental health is just gonna fall in line with, with that piece. So that's how I'm doing, Satana. Thank you for asking. So let me ask you this. So out of the seven days, uh, I know you've been, you know, you work a lot. So what are the um, the guilty pleasure to to kind of calm down? Um, you know, because you got to at least, you know, have a break once in a while in a week, right? At least watch a movie or uh, take a long shit. Um, <laughs> what, do you, what do you do to kind of like reduce? Oh, uh, man, you know, I... I uh... This is this is something that I'm working on. Uh, I'm doom scrolling, right? I'm just I'm taking that extra long shit, just hiding from my kids and my wife, and just okay. just scrolling on Facebook, man. Um, that's that's my that's my break. I think uh, I need to work on that because I think that takes away that doesn't build that doesn't make me a better person. Is what I'm trying to say. But that's that's my guilty pleasure. Uh, man, I'm guilty too, man. Cause uh, shit, when I think about that, it makes me sick. To be honest, like I, I'm actually really sick just thinking about it. Um, just because, like, I know that it's such a waste of time. This is not gonna matter. Um, it doesn't make you a better person. Are you just literally reading bullshit? You know, on the news feed, or or no even if you're if you're on TikTok, you just you're just pressing. You're literally just swiping, just to, for the hell of swiping, yeah. man. You know. Not looking for nothing, not trying to find nothing, not, you know, activating your brain like you should be. I'm just doom scrolling. That's why they call it doom scrolling. You know what I've been, uh, you know what I've been doing? Um, I've been uh, following the, did I send you the Dr. K podcast? Mm, I don't think you did. Okay. Fuck, I should, I should have, to listen, have to send it to you. But um, I've been listening to him. And, uh, like, he has, like, freaking hours of just podcasts. And I was just, like... Uh, let him uh, talk, and I'll just do my homework. Yeah. Uh, but uh, one of my guilty pleasure recently, like I was just so worn out, bro. Like I couldn't even, like I was so tired, but, like I couldn't even, like think properly. Like things couldn't even. Yeah, I couldn't even like. I was listening to the my teacher like uh, that she was just lecturing, and I was like, "What the fuck is she talking about?" And, like, man, I'm way too tired right now. <laughs> so um, zoned out. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, I need to just like chill, you know, uh, and just sleep on something. And I ended up watching the the Avatar uh, oh, series. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was just kind of like my okay. You need to just calm down, just relax, just not think about school for now. And uh, that really helped out. Uh, getting back into school, just like, okay, now I'm, like I can think again. I got some sleep, so. That's awesome, man. That's good. Yeah, it's the balance. It's the balance. It's you gotta balance it out correctly, man. Everybody is, um, you know, going through something. Um, it's just you know knowing yourself and balancing and not overkill. You know, because I know I know I tend to do that a lot too. It's just overkill and um, mentally, I can't do it seven days a week. I try to, man, but. There's only, there's only, yeah, there's only one of you in, in 24 hours a day, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I get it, man. I get it. Cool. But, um. Uh, End up calling my ex again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I called him. Man, uh, man, that mean, that mean you've been stressing. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was, man. I was just, I didn't know you who to talk been to. You've stressing, uh, brother. God damn. Okay, okay. So I tell us, her. walk us, walk us through that. What uh, what uh, what? uh I haven't, I haven't read her message in forever. I haven't talked to her since, um, since we broke up. Um, so I called her. I was just like, hey, um, what you doing? Uh, she was like, oh, I'm back in LA. Uh, you know, you have some mail, and I'm like, like, well, you can just. Like, well, you can just throw the mail away. It doesn't matter. She said, "No, I'll, I'll bring it over to you." And I'm like, "No, nah, you don't need a, you don't need to bring it over to me." Um, and she's like, "Yeah, um, you know, I've, uh, you know, I was watching your podcast a couple oh, days ago." Shit. 
I'm like, well, I ain't talking about you no more. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because like I haven't mentioned her since like forever. If I do, it's just like once in a while, right? <laughs> it's um, like we were like a good thirty-two episodes in, and then you stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, oh shit. But I noticed, dude. I I have absolutely no feelings for her. Uh, she is just like. It was just dead meat in a way, you know, like, fuck, um, I kind of want to go right now, but she's just kind of stalling a little bit. Hopefully she's listening right now. Um, and yeah, I just, it didn't really feel, um, good. And I was like, man, I fucking gave up and fucking called her. What a weak son of a bitch. <laughs> like, man, I gave up on it. Um, uh. anyway, it was, it was cool, um, but yeah, it was just we talked for like I think like thirty minutes. Um, nothing special. Okay. Cool man. Uh, Ying said she's just a booty call. You know, I I want to say I want to say so, man. But um, at the end of the day, uh, I I don't <laughs> want it to be that. You know what I mean? Yeah. One hundred percent. You shouldn't. I, that's that's toxic. You you definitely going backwards that way, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I if I just smash one time, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> but if I do that, like, I'm just going backwards. I'm just like, I'm just not going to, you know, uh, feed into this, Yeah, you 100%. know, 100%. chip. And that's that's just, gonna, yeah. that's, that's uh, what is it, uh, uh, self-harm is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, like for me, mm-hmm. back in the day, my 20s, you know, you know, this, you know, firsthand is like, instead of dealing with the issue, you know. You're you're masking it with abuse, you know, and, and that abuse is you abusing yourself. <laughs> and yeah. so, you know, like to to um, to get out of that funk that you're in currently, right? Is is you you do the things that you need to be doing. Like that's why, like for me, like that goal, the focus on the legacy, right? You know, is is so important because now for me, anyways, is that like the mission is more important than myself. You know, of course, 100 percent take care of your mental health, take care of your physical health and and, you know, do what you need to do. But but at the same time, it's kind of like when you compromise the the, the end goal, um, well, you're compromising the end goal. Right. So when you take care of, you know, your, your selfish needs. Right. Then the 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 goal is being compromised. But if you compromise your selfish needs. Like, dude, I, I've been wanting to buy junk on Facebook Market for so goddamn long. I got a long ass list of you know bullshit that I that I need to be buying. You know, I don't need to be I don't need to be spending that time searching these things that I'm never gonna buy. You know what I'm saying? Um, so so I forgot where I was going with this, but but focus on the uh, angles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, the main reason why I did call her is because. Um, I felt lonely, I'm be honest, but like yeah. this whole this whole week, like oh, I've man. just been grinding. So like, yeah. I felt like I didn't even like talk to anybody. I mean, I've been talking to some friends and whatnot, but like somebody that really knew me and just kind of like um, just to listen, you know. Um, nice. But I, I, when I was talking to her, I was like, damn, I did not want her to listen. She was just, she was just a person that I. I don't know. Could I guess felt like I could like just yeah. huddle with you know, but like it really, I didn't want that. You know, it's just kind of weird. Um, well, that I I, th- I can kind of sympathize with that kind of feeling or empathize with that feeling. It's just a longing for for a life partner is what is probably what it is. Like a longing for uh, intimate, uh, someone intimate. Yeah, I just wanted to fuck something. Yeah. No, for sure. <laughs> well, that too, but 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 I mean, like, uh, cause it, that's what it sounds like, 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 like to me, you know. I mean, and and kind of knowing you too is like, I think, I think maybe, maybe it's time to get a wifey, bro. Maybe it's time to, dude. Um, you know, you know, my dad always said, get married, and get your life started, son. You know, so maybe it's um, maybe it's that, bro. bro I- Man, I, I I'm trying, but I'm not forcing anything though. You know, maybe you gotta force um, that. Force that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I 
I got, I got, like you said, like I gotta uh, focus. Uh, I gotta be selfish right now and focus on my my schoolwork. And I don't have time. I really don't have time, dude. Like, yeah. Holy shit! Um, the time that I do have time to myself, like those probably not them. Like maybe a couple hours, and like that's that's just like the time that that was the only time that I may want somebody, and then that's it. Yeah, you, you listen know? to a little Sam Smith, and <laughs> you get into your feels, and then <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, good songs, man. If you guys have any recommendations on songs, dude, like send it over, man. I've been listening to the same music for the past week, too. And I'm just so tired. Of it. I don't listen to EDM no more. It's just so much like it kind of hurts my head now. <laughs> just like, fuck, <laughs> man. So it gives me a migraine, all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so over it, man. Um, God, yeah, something more soulful, like, like Daylight. Um, yeah, I've been listening to church. I, uh, I was, I went on to this, uh, Christian radio and I've never really liked Christian music till I was listening to that radio station. Okay. I was like, yeah. Hey. yeah, the new stuff, the new stuff is pretty good, man. Yeah. I was like, man, they should, should be playing this kind of music at church. Um, it's pretty dope though. Um, yeah, Christian music. Hill, Hill My song. Soul. His song United yeah. got a lot of good, got a lot of like, man, uh, like uplifting soulful music. Mm, mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yes, Yang, I am a soul of Jesus Christ and God. So, um, Yang, I go to church every Sunday, Yang. So if you didn't know that about me, um. That's what I do. Hey, speaking of which, man, have you ever talked to that Korean chick, man? From church? No. Um, yeah. I know. That was like 20, okay. that was 20 <laughs> episodes ago, bro. That was, that was literally 20 episodes, episodes ago where you said, I'm going to talk to her next week. <laughs> and that next week never came. I remember that because I was just like, man, he's going to find a church girl, man. And then it just never happened, dog. <laughs> you know, it's it's me talking myself out of it, man. And like, just <laughs> kind of like, you know, it's just not the right, never the right time. You know, uh, when I see her, I'm like, it's just not the right time right now. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I know I should though. Um, but maybe just so much. I don't know, man. Okay. It's one of those things is like, do I want to put my t more time into that? Just meet people, man. Everything is time. Every time is effort. Um, man, like, fuck, dude. I hate to say, but school has been taking up so much of my oh, time, bro. Yeah, like, 100%. I know. It's like, I don't want to, like, how do I add more to that? Like, I need to ask somebody that's like in my class. That's going to work with me through it, right? Versus like, you know, getting my time somewhere else, right? I think that's... Maybe you need a, you need an e-girl, dog. You know what I'm saying? Meet, have a, have a, have a relationship with somebody who's about this life, right? Meet on Discord, have, put that, you know, little Discord window off to the side where you're doing your homework and you're like, hey, babe, how are you? Cool. And, you know, share your screen and <laughs> let her know you're doing homework, you know what I'm saying? Cringe. Um, hey, dog, it's 2024, I, dude. It's 2024, I, dog. She don't need to know what I'm doing. Um, I like <laughs> to keep it, you know, low key. Uh, <sighs> maybe one day, but um, yeah. Oh, so uh, you you seen Dragon Ball Z, right? Um, it's been it's been a while. The last the last Dragon Ball Z no. thing I saw was, I think, um, the Broly movie. That's it. Okay. The uh, the second one that where they fought Broly when they turned Super Saiyan God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most recent okay, Broly cool. movie. Yeah. Um, which character is your favorite character out of all of Dragon Ball Z and why? I would say, man, I think when I was younger, it was Vegeta, because he was just okay. like. You know this this hard character who's just like man yeah. 
fuck all y'all. I'm going to beat y'all, y'all mm. ass. Um, okay. So, so as a kid, it was Vegeta. And then now, I, I don't know. I'm not really into Dragon Ball Z, honestly. I, I think... So you say... I would say, yeah, if I had to answer that question, it would be Vegeta. Yeah. My brother, uh, Jerry, loves Vegeta. Um, but, you know, I, I really thought about it, too. I've always liked um, uh, Gohan. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Just because, like, uh, you, know, you know, I kind of, like, these characters, you kind of put them in, like, kind of like your, your life, right? How you, yeah. uh, what role you play yeah. in life. You, you interject yourself into to that character. Is that what you're saying? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Um, like, that's me. Yeah. That's me right there. Yeah, like I am the one that defeated himself with my, with the pop's help. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh I was born to be stronger than him, you know. <laughs> uh but more like a you know, obviously like, you know, friendlier approach in a way, you know. Yeah. Um you know, it's, it's yeah. It was that Trunks was kinda Trunks was cool. Uh, I thought that he was like one of the cool guys, one of the cool kid. Um I was like the trunks who his sword. I was kind of like yeah. in the end things that about him to feature trunks um but yeah man i just i just wondered in just you know i think i think to answer that question now right if i would you know to to answer that question 31 year old peter i would say krillin i would say krillin is the really it's the boy he's my he the boy he's the character that i would say my favorite character wow. today Here? Ain't Krillin like so, uh, like he's Herbert? he's a hundred percent human. No, no, Krillin's the old, or, or I think your Master Roshi is, is is the pervert. Krillin's not the pervert, is he? Maybe in the old ones, Wait, I don't Krillin, know. Krillin, Krillin's not. Uh, is he hundred percent human? A hundred human. Six no, dots. Way, bro. Uh, Six dots, baby. He's a monk. What's what's his what's his power again? Sonic Boom. Yeah, that's what it was, right? So, no. That's 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 from Street Fighter, right? No, no that's yeah. Street Fighter. You're thinking about Street Fighter. What's, what's this uh, uh, technique? The one? I forgot. Yes. But, uh, Destructo Disc. That's what it is. Destructo, Destructo Disc. Disc. But uh, he's 100 percent human, right? You know, you look at the dude. He looks like a little kid. He he looks pathetic. Uh, but he's actually the same age as uh, Goku. They grew up together. Um, best friends. 100 mm. percent human. Bagged android. Uh, 18, 17. I forgot the chick, but. Uh. He, yeah, he, he bagged a baddie. He bagged a baddie. And then he eventually grew hair. And he fought yeah. in the Tournament of Gods. Krillin is, okay. is my guy. Krillin is what the guy. Say, what do you say him, though? After all, and you know, against all odds. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no prodigy. You know, he he's short. You know, he looked like a joke. You know, but okay. he's all about who he is. He worked his ass off. You know, day one to to where he's at now. He has a beautiful life, oh, a beautiful life, a beautiful wife. He fought, you know, amongst gods. You know what I'm saying? I, Krillin's the guy. Krillin's that speaks. That character speaks a lot to me. Okay. He okay. he don't have no crazy power ups. He's, it's just it's just all hard work and more hard work on top of it as he aged. My guy. I will, I will never invite you to choose Krillin. Yeah. Interesting. He's the only character um, that really makes sense, honestly. I mean, like all the other characters, they just, their new power up is just a different color. Uh, power up again, different color. Power, power up again, different new color. Gods. It's just all different colors. You know, Frieza got a new color? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ultra Eagle, whatever. Like I, I don't know what it is, but he's black now. Frieza is black. <laughs> oh, I, I, I know the, it the, was I, it was his color was like uh was like Mewtwo, you know, it was like it was like purple and white, and it was like Frieza gold. I was like, damn, that's tight. And then it was like black, and I was just like, come on, dog, these motherfuckers trolling, got, man. That's uh, purple, and then and then some other color. I mean, they don't have mentioned running out of colors sometime. Like, maybe Striped started going that route. Polka dotted. They're, just, they're, right, just, right. they're just banking on the same character. They just, there's like, there's like no new content. It's just some stronger dude that come out of nowhere. They beat him and then they get a new color and transformation. And 
So, so that's why I haven't really watched since Broly. It's just because it's lazy. It's lazy writing. It's what it is. It's uh, yeah. You can't really do much with Dragon Ball Z, dude. Uh, you know they they, but it's still one of the hottest yeah. um things. Dragon, or, or Dragon Ball Z simps. Yeah, it's what it is, man. Dragon Ball Z is freaking awesome. Um, so let's go on and uh, move on to today's episode. Guys, yeah. um, try, try. shout out to Nacho. Haven't seen you in a minute. Nacho Peng. Nacho Libre. I think he, um, hey, changed, you know? he changed it. I think that's why I oh. thought about it. Profile picture. That's why I thought about the uh, Dragon Ball Z. Hey, do you know What's him? On? Do you know him uh, personally? No, I've never met him. Oh, okay. Never met him. I've only heard good things about him <laughs> okay all right first video the l okay which stick because it's you Wait, got two of okay. them say that again you which stick because it was you had two. Oh my gosh you only got one stick oh my gosh that's oh were you seeing two yeah wait it's uh it's a little laggy on my end let's see <laughs> That's a, it's a distance thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, why is it not playing good? Try, try and read the, the L. Book. Oh, here it is. Okay, which stick? Cause it's you got two of them. Say that again. You which stick? Cause it was you got two. Oh my gosh, you only got one stick. Oh my gosh, that's. Oh, crazy. are you seeing two? Yes. That's a, it's a distance thing. Oh my gosh, yeah. so, that's scary. It's it's happening to a lot of people. Oh my gosh. It's the blue light. Yeah. Oh my god. That don't, I wouldn't even worry about it though. It's it's you never have that much put in in one, you know, bang. Let me just take a nice bang. Oh my goodness. So you saw a blurring, a ghosting, and uh It was like it was two sticks. It looked like two sticks. That's what's happening a lot with that light. The blue light will if put in too long, you're gonna start to see double from far away. Wow. Yeah. So okay, which one of these lines is the easiest one for you to read? Oh my God, am I tripping out? Look like you got on two ties and two dots. <laughs> okay, you know what that is? That's a normal, that's a double vision. And two tablets okay, now. Yeah. That'll, that'll clear up. Oh Don't this even worry about it. Crazy. It's a distance thing. Oh my God. Your eyes will return to normal in, a, in about 45 minutes. I can't believe Okay, so you probably, well, you just relax and uh, I'll be right back in a moment. Okay. Okay. All right. Dog, that's hilarious, dog. Man, that sleight of hand is so good, too. That sleight of uh, hand is so good, man. Like, he had two sticks in the beginning, and then he... I don't know where the fuck he put it, man, but he came with the one stick, and she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, bro. Imagine if he came out with the two and I... Man, that'd be hilarious, bro. I, I thought about that, because I was like, dude, this is something we'll do. It's just like, you know... Taking it to the next level of of like of of funny and, and illusion is just I was like this is some script that you know me and Peter would think of and just like fucking overkill. That's hilarious, bro. Oh man, um, like take, yeah, like wanna... like take it even further right, where like she eventually gets home right and then the the husband has like a twin and then and they're fucking yeah. with her now and then yeah. later that night. Having sex and it's both of them. <laughs> Why is it two dicks? You you seeing stuff. You seeing stuff. <laughs> now you're feeling stuff too. It's, it's, oh shit! We need to take you back to the to the to the eye doctor. <laughs> oh man, so great, man. Funny, so funny. But cool, man. Oh, yeah, I just want to get laugh. I uh, wanted a good laugh. Wanted to, uh, you know, kind of remind us the like, kind of content that we would be creating if we did things. You know, again, I think we were. I think. I think. I think if we were living closer. I think we would have, you know, more time to do silly things like that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, bro. It's 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 freaking awesome. It's funny as hell. Um, but yeah, that was uh, the first uh, video to kind of break the ice a little bit. You know. Yeah. Oh, that was good. You know, it's wild because uh, I I saw that video too. 
Oh really? That's so funny. So showed, buddy. Up, this- showed up in my uh in my news feed too. I think it was TikTok or, or something. I forgot where. But all right, next uh oops. <laughs> Wrong one. Next video. <laughs> How old are you? 26. 22. How long you been together? Two, Two years. years. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. <laughs> you you only you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife. And this is the wife I want. So no. Oh. Okay. Now what about you if he gave you one? If he gave me a guilt tree pass, I would take it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry. That's who, crazy. Who would you take it with? Um, Lindy Waters the third. Don't even know who that is. That's our problem. <laughs> yep. Yep. Who else? Um, Barry Sanders. I'm in love with him. Now, what do you think those men have over your men? Uh, they're professional athletes. That's crazy. <laughs> hey. Black or white? One is Native American and one's black. But do you think that any of those guys would go for you? Uh, Junior would. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, I don't care. Oh, my God. I I don't know, man. It's um, I don't understand why, like, when the camera's on and then you act a certain fucking way and then... Uh, I don't know, or 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 maybe that's really how she is, and then um, my God, it's fucking crazy, you know, like in front of an audience, you know, and saying like, don't disrespect, you know, your life partner. Uh, I don't know. It's just people. People are just not emotionally smart. I think this is kind of a topic that we've kind of um, mentioned and talked about a lot in in this podcast um but i think you know yeah um yeah that's that's that sucks it's uh it's it's the money you know it's the it's the hypergamy you know <laughs> um yeah. yeah uh a man a man yeah, a, a man would uh would settle you know uh for a, a typical normal chick but i don't think a, a woman if they have the option to yeah, they're they're gonna take somebody else that's uh you know in a hierarchy uh, has more money, more social proof. Um, I don't know. It's like sometimes you know, like <clears throat> there's the, there's the two perspectives, right? It was one is where like you know a lot of people are gonna see this video, and then you say you know some reckless shit. I I be saying some reckless shit all the time, um, and then so like some of it is like fun and games. The other is like. You know, I don't know, disrespectful, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's where I'm at. I'm in the middle. Me personally, yeah. I'm, I, I lean more towards the, you ain't got to say all that crazy shit against, you know, your partner. But at the same time, it is just fun games. Like, oh, man, I, I'd fuck Halle Berry, you know. And, do, you, do you think it's better off if she keeps it a secret or, or she's... You know, she said it. Their relationship is their better. relationship. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think like, he, he did definitely show body language that he was uncomfortable because he was not <laughs> expecting that yeah. shit, you know? And then yeah. she was just very nonchalant. And maybe that's just how she is, you know? Um, you know, just just saying first and not thinking, you know? And so, Oh, well, that's actually how yeah. a lot of people are. But I think, I think it's, I think, um, I don't think it's a big issue. I think it can probably lead to a big issue, like the like that one video that you sent, right? Um, where was the the couple in the car, right? And then she, they were just talking, and then she smacks him on the head, you know, like tap. But then he was like, "That's not cool. I'm gonna pull this car over." And then she was just like, "Man, fuck you," and, you know, and taps him on the head again. He pulls over, and that's where, you know, you fix, you know, whatever that is, that disagreement, you know, and so. So I think as long as there's that correction, that boundary, then I think it's okay. You know, like maybe after the interview, he's like, hey, man, that wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to say all that crazy shit. 
you know, on camera, you know. I don't like that. So I think that that's important. Yeah. Or or maybe next time he can be like, you know what, next time, you know, when we are ever put in a situation, you know, I can probably say some reckless crazy shit. Just for giggles, you know. Then it won't be as hurtful. Homeboy looked like he was hurt. He was like, what? Who is that? You know. Nervous yeah, laugh, yeah. nervous laugh, nervous Definitely. laugh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Definitely it was uh, yeah, in his eyes. Um That was tough. Um hope hope they uh find peace and um good luck to the relationship. That's the best I can say. Nothing else, nothing more. Okay. Um How how would you feel if you were ever in a situation like that? Well, like, like, not, not like on camera interview type of thing, but then, like, let's say you're out with the homies, right? Uh, you know, the, everybody kind of brought their own, you know, girlfriends along, and then um, she say something crazy about you. Oh yeah, Frankie's dick is this size, is <laughs> and then yeah, and then you know, let's say she said something crazy like that, right? In a in a room full of people that you care about, you know, how would you feel? Or, or... uh, I'll I'll play it off. Uh, I'll joke around, you know. Uh, so, it happened before. It okay. Happened. Oh, damn. Okay. But I, I turned it around. I remember, I remember I turned it around. That was, this is when I was, like, drinking, though. When I'm drinking, like, I'm always, like, you know, on cue, you know. Um, I said some bullshit. And then, um, well, here, here's the thing. So, you kind of have to read the room, right? And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah, I, I kind of turned it around. And, um Long story short, um, I turned it around and I was like, "Oh, you mean like your your ex is short or something like that? Like your ex is you talking about your ex is dick?" And then just the laughter overpowered what she said, and then we just kind of uh, continue with something else uh, or something like that. Um, that I did it was you it worked out. She was dogging on you, and then you were dogging on on like her past decision or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that kind of just like you know, oh, yeah, went out and. That's funny. I remember she That's was kind of sneaky. With it. She tried to challenge me. She did, but uh, you put you put her back in her place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was funny. And and the thing was like it was like uh, it was my crowd, right? So that was kind of why like, I had more of the the leverage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but if it was like her crowd. It would have been uh, a little bit harder. But yeah, so just because like I have more of the advantage and it that's, worked out. That's hilarious, bro. Hey man, sometimes you let you let you let you let them know. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you let them know. You know? Yeah, these these things will come eventually. You know? Uh, uh, but I think we talked about it too later. Um, yeah. Okay. We talked about it too, so we kind of you know fixed it and then you know respect each other's. Right, don't try you know, it. Don't try that shit again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's all about communication, you know. Uh, let them fuck up, uh, and by the meantime, uh, don't let it affect you. And by later. Yeah, that's cool. All right, good, 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 good. Shout out to Aunt. Aunt said, "Why is Peter naked? I'm not naked. I'm wearing underwear, brother." And uh, then Yang said, "All right, we getting Frankie drunk next time in LA." Oh shit. <laughs> I, I don't drink anymore. That's 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 old me, Yang. Don't try to get me back into it, man. Um, it's already been made. My decision. I'm gonna be alcohol free for the rest of my life. Awesome. So good luck. Good luck with that, Yang. Awesome. I love how she's like always trying to like influence me. She's she's always. But you know damn well it's not gonna happen. Cool. I think uh, the twenty-year-old me would uh, definitely fall for it, but um, <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. There's no benefit to drinking at all. That's so funny, man. Absolutely no benefit. I I, I did not reason. need help drinking back in the day. <laughs> I needed help. I needed to help stopping. That's that's what I needed. <laughs> yeah, we stopping. <laughs> Yeah. God damn, bro! I was a, uh, I was a mess back then. 
with that being said, man, let's transition to my videos. Check this out. All right, cool, cool. I think you'll I think you'll like this one. Check it out. Eso. Oh no. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Tranquilo, güey, tranquilo ya. No te merecía, la neta. Es mucho de la Tranquilo, güey. Ah, you dog. <laughs> GG's. He kept singing, Jeez. dude. He kept singing, dude. <laughs> Damn, bro. I would have left, dude. I would have just, like, gone, bro. Like, that's... Bro, that's hilarious. And then the guy, the guy hugged, hugged her behind her, and then he was like, come on, why you stop singing? <laughs> And then the guys, the homies kept playing the music. Oh my god, that shit was so funny, dog. Hey, who said, uh, why, come on, why did you stop singing? Oh, no, no, no. Well, 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 no, the guy, the guy, the guy that was holding the girl, he, he kind of gestured like, oh, you know, oh. like that with his hat. He was just like, you know. Damn, man. Ah, oh, shit, homeboy like broke down. Or <laughs> when he popped out of the door, he was like, what? Yeah, his whole face expression changed. Oh, shit, dog. That was so bad, man. His friends kept playing the yeah. music, man, and he just kept singing and singing. <laughs> it's like, dog, it's time to go, man. Yeah. It's time to go. <laughs> Best of luck to the homie, man. That's tough. I, 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 yeah. I can't say much to that, dude. Yeah. Um,. But, uh, that was good. Kind of petty of her having the guy come out, right? No, well, well, um, well, that's the thing is that, like, that that was unplanned for her, right? And then the dude planned it. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get this bitch back, man. You know, he convinced two of his buddies, right, to play the music, wanted to film it. And then he's like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing into, back into this pussy, you know? And then she's all like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And, and then she, he was like, yeah, come back into my arms, girl. And then the dude pops out. And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, man. And he's like, I ain't going to stop singing, man. I'm going to double down on it, dude. <laughs> yeah. That kind of, kind of oh. guy, you know? Oh, man. His heart broke into a million pieces, bro. It's what he needed, though. It's what he needed. Yeah. He's going to grow from that. And um, I wonder how he's doing now. Maybe he's married, got kids. Maybe he's in America uh, now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's in America now. Killing I thought that was, that was in America, right? That was in... Uh, that's, that looked like Los Angeles to me. Like, that's how <laughs> Los Angeles looked like. It looked like the bad side of LA. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like me. Could be, could be. Um, but good luck to the homie, man. Uh, yeah, any, don't do uh, that. Yeah, any advice? Uh, advice is uh, if you try to get a girl back and you're that desperate and to that point, it's not romantic. Like it's it's really not. <laughs> it's not like those movies. Oh it's boy, not like yeah. The movie. He's like, yeah. He he, like, man, I'm about to bust this Disney on her dog. <laughs> yeah, that's just not how it's gonna work, man. If uh, if she really wanted you back, 
you know, I think you guys would have talked on the phone and, and um, figured that out other than if you had to go out there and just sing to her and try to get her back. Yeah, that's um, she don't want your back, dude. You don't have to go that far to do that. And it's not romantic, man. It's cringy as hell. Don't do that. Um, and especially if you're not that good of a, of a singer, too. It's just going to drive her even further away. So don't do it. Don't be a sim. Man, that's funny, man. Riz, Riz Academy did not teach you to be a, a, a simp. So you got to be um, the other guy. He didn't go to Riz the, Academy, man. He didn't go to Riz Academy. He didn't watch our, our Riz episodes, man. <laughs> so that's what happened, dog. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah. Hey, man. Uh, Join the Patreon. You'll you'll learn it. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious, bro. Good luck, dog. Good luck to them, dog, man. Yeah. So sad. Um. Yeah, you've yeah, you've ever uh, you've ever experienced any uh heartbreak heart heartbreaks like that? Uh, no, but it's something like kind of okay. So one thing that I thought that was romantic, but became creepy, right? Oh, uh, I think it was this chick in Tulsa. I forgot her name. She, she wasn't even that cute, bro. To be honest with you, bro, like I was just desperate for some cooch, and um, I, I was utilizing. Uh, that's when we were doing videos, right? And um, you know, we we're getting a lot of views. So I was utilizing the, uh, you know, the, the same, views, the same status. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, we ended up talking and whatnot, and I found out that she worked at uh, Sonic, and and she was at Owasso, right? And uh, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go pop up over there and just kind of like, you know, say what's up to her, you know? I didn't give her any uh, notice, anything. I went over there, dude. She came out. She's like, hey, how do you know? How do you know I work here? I'm like, oh, you know, you work at Sonic. I just, you know, just here. She's like, man, that's kind of creepy. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, I think it is kind of creepy. You now that I think about it, dude. I'm like, fuck. Like, I thought I, was, I thought I'm going to be like, oh, hey, what's up? I'm here. Uh, she's like, oh, my God. You're oh, my God. So, like, <laughs> fucking creepy as hell or romantic. And obviously, you was fucking creepy. And I was just like, after that, I didn't even talk. Dude, um, I'm telling you, man, she was not that cute, but she was like um, one of those girls that kind of like uh, glue uh, the glow up. She yeah. glow glow up, and um, she was just this, this only chick that was single in Oklahoma. Though he's posting a lot of pictures, that wanted attention, and she got my attention, and oh, uh, it just didn't go right because I didn't take. Dude. That's so funny, man. I I can just imagine you planning this shit, dude. <laughs> you're just at home, just is like Facebook stalking her, and then you're like, "Oh, this is where she works. I'm gonna show up, and she needs she can be like all over me." Yeah, <laughs> you're like, yeah. "Yeah," you know. I like, you know, like I'm so good to see you. You know, you, you should come back. Stay <laughs> you know, let me get off work, and then you know we can you know eat some Sonic together. Straight up, like, oh, yeah, that's good. Um, man, that's so funny, man. That's 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 every yeah. guy in their twenties. They thinking they the shit, and it is just in their own head, just sucking their own dick, just saying, yeah, yeah, she wants me. This woman wants me. <laughs> I I uh, now that I think about it, I definitely should have uh, taken time to uh, about it, about like you know, just to get close to her. But it was just kind of like Ash and Ash, um, you know, like acquaintances, you know. And me, I was like, man, we got to meet in person. That's when she really falls in love with me, you know. Yeah. That, <laughs> She's that, like, that's fucking... kind of that's kind of creepy. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Playing backfired. <laughs> or, bro, I was just like, this is not going to happen again. <sighs> Yeah, you should be like, no, that's not what he's supposed to say. I'm your knight. I'm not your knight in shiny armor, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Other shit, you know. You know, come on. Uh, yeah. Um. 
um, that's obviously bro. She liked me as much as I thought. So, Man. I think if she was to like, I think it would have been a different story. But she obviously didn't have have those feelings, so it became more of a creep more than. Uh, Romantic. Hey man, that's how you that's how you verify, bro. That's how you verify. Sometimes you gotta do dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you miss every shot you don't take, man. So fuck. Double down, baby. Double down, <laughs> you know? Need some cooch. Going in. <laughs> what's uh, the worst what's the worst that she could say, you know? No, right? <laughs> She's like, that's creepy. <laughs> fucking blocks me and everything, bro. I don't know if she's talking to you or not. Bro, that's so funny, man. I never knew that story, dog. <laughs> yeah, she, um... Bro, I'm telling you, she's not that pretty. Like, she's not that pretty. She's a solid, like, five. <laughs> with a lot of, with a, a lot of makeup, dude. Like, I was so desperate. Like, I had <sighs> to do that. To just feel something. Oh, bro. God damn, Yeah, it was... Dude. Never again, though. You should have been like, you know who I am? I'm blessing you right now, bitch. <laughs> like, you know what, me? Triple like, down. Me, triple dude. down on it. Triple down on it, dude. You know, you know, I took my time out of my day. I should be editing videos, but I'm seeing your bitch ass in Sonic. <laughs> I'm here. I'm going to say I'm creepy. Fuck you. Fucking just start like, you know. Oh, <sighs> shit. It, and I really thought about it. I was like, man, uh, I really am a creep if I think about it, huh? <laughs> it's just fucking weird, bro. I think everybody has, a, you know, a little bit. It, was, it could be creepy or not creepy. If you're if you're ugly, then it's creepy. If you're handsome, it's romantic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, that's funny, man. You see what Yongi said? Yongi said, uh, try to get a free slushy. <laughs> At Sonic, that's what you should have did. You should have, oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know where you work here, girl. I'm just trying to get up these slush. Oh, shit, that's funny. All that, I'm not here for you. Bro. I'm here for the Sonic. Oh, that's funny, bro. I would, you know, if I ever experienced that, I would have just never gone outside for the next two years. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't talk to you at all since then, dude. Um, gone. Oh. On Facebook anymore too. Man, that's funny, bro. But I tell you, man, she was okay, man. And hey, man, you was trying to, you was trying to, you was trying to bless her, man. That's what it was, man. She didn't want no blessing, you know. <sighs> okay, you ready for this next video, brother? Let's go for it. She is Chick-fil-A. She is Chick-fil-A. I like Taylor Swift. I appreciate it just like I appreciate Taylor Swift. But just like the lines are way too long for Chick-fil-A, and I'm not about to wait that long for some chicken, I am not about to spend the amount of money that's necessary to go to a Taylor Swift show. Like, she is good. I'm not sitting here saying Taylor Swift has no talent. She's not a good artist. But she is way, way, way overhyped. From someone who personally went to a Taylor Swift concert, I appreciate you put her in Weekend Losers. She is not in the same stratosphere as Chick-fil-A. I went to that concert. Like, I've been to a lot of concerts. It was on the lower end of the ones I went to. And I understand that, look, I am a 26-year-old married guy with no kids. I am not the target audience for Taylor Swift. I totally understand that. I thought I, I agree with you. I think she's very overblown, overrated. I'm not going to say she's not talented because the girl really can't sing. I went to the concert. She, she had the pipes, but I didn't think the performance was great. And I, I'm with you, dude. But, God, man, show Chick-fil-A some love a little. All right. Hand on Taylor Swift, man. Um, you know, it's it's a demographic thing, dude. Like it's it's just it's marketing and and Taylor Swift, man. She uh she did it well. She you know uh, dated a NFL guy that won the Super Bowl. I mean, come on, man. She, great marketing team. She's pretty. She's freaking um a pretty white girl. That's uh, her demographic is uh white girls. And um, white girls can go crazy. You, you you just look at her concert, bro. The majority of them are just like Gen Z, millennial, 
And she's been doing this for a long yeah. time, too. Yeah. She just did a song, right? She's been doing this for a long time and putting everything together. Of course, she's like the Michael Jackson of, of, of like, for the girls, for the, for the teenagers. You know, like, like of course, she's going to be popular, dude. Of course. You know, like, if you're smart about it, you should buy a Taylor Swift ticket and resell that ticket. Double as much. Make it a business. You know? And, like, I'll, I'll probably never attend if I... um. If I'm truthful, I think I think I agree with you 100 percent on the on the marketing piece. Uh, you, Taylor Swift originally was country singer, and then she went pop, you know, and then she just you know stuck with it. Um, I I saw this other video too of just like a short clip of how she looks like at a at her own concert. It was very mediocre. It was very it was very uh, what is it? Uh, it uh, it wasn't it wasn't good okay you know what i'm saying like to you know as hyped as she is I mean, with her status and everything you gotta expect more than than what whatever that video showed right uh, or any taylor, taylor swift concert but like there are more talented people than her for sure but then like i think that's what like this video talked about too like that i saw that like maybe that's what's got her you know so big is that like she one, she, she does the marketing well, and then, you know, she speaks to her performance and, and her song speaks to a certain audience. You know, she's not yeah. this, you know, like, like she's pretty, but she ain't like a, a 10, you know what I'm saying? And then, so I think, I think who Taylor Swift is as the person, you know, the brain, yeah, right? Yeah. That speaks to a lot of people, you know? So I think that's what that is. And, of course, consistently, you know, putting out bangers, working with, you know, you know, high end, you know, people, producers to, to really get her shit on top of things. I think that's, that's what, that's why she's where she's at. But yeah, um, she's like the Drake version. <laughs> she's like, yeah. you know I mean? like, always been making music since she's got the millennials, uh, from, you know, the heartbreaks and stuff, you know, always gotten them there. And then now got the Gen Z, you know what I mean? Like, of course you're going to like have this huge demographic throughout the years. And then she finally gets uh, Eros, the, the Eros tour. That's her, the name of the tour, right? She finally gets a, a first tour going. Of course, not the first tour, but the major tour going of all her music combined. Of course, it's going to be freaking huge and, and like yeah. awesome. Or, you know, people's going to go to it and make it awesome. Because, like, it's got a lot of uh, nostalgic music that people are going to. Like, so, I don't I mean, I don't blame the uh why she's so big i mean i that's who else is bigger than taylor swift yeah. give me like you know, Nicki minaj no yeah, but that's a whole different category too i would say that's like rapping. i'd say i say drake is a great yeah. is a great comparison like because they they put they both put in you know put in work and they just pump out you know music and they they stay yeah. relevant and then you know they're they're exactly. a personality they're a brand you know and so i think yeah yeah, I think yeah. that's so funny, man. Yeah, you know, like you said too, bangers have the bangers. Um relatable content. I mean it's just, it's just like, you know, they they're professionals. They know what they're doing, dude. Like I'm not like you can hate on Taylor Swift all you want. I mean, she's still gonna be Taylor Swift. She's still gonna be great. She's still gonna like sell fucking sold out tickets. She's still gonna make bangers. Like the sheeps are always going to buy. They're going to gather and yeah. buy shit. Let her be great. Let Taylor be great, man. Um, I, I, I um, you know, she, she's probably an idol to many, many young uh, artists out there that's trying to, you know, do pop and country. Um, but yeah, man, she's great. I'm, I'm, I don't hate on I think, any of her stuff. I think the real question is, how do we do that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How do we get to there you know what i'm saying god damn uh Fuck. you know like it's it, it's great that you mentioned that too because like uh yeah i don't i don't think they just got there because of pure talent you know i think it's just like a lot of uh you know like you said like the character uh the the network uh the work ethic um i think the network is you know a huge part of it too like knowing who 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 she got with and helped her produce her music and fixing it i'm sure like there's some ghostwriters on on her music too, and beats and stuff, and 
just put our voice on it. But yeah, um, how do we do it? Uh, we do it differently. You know, I think this, you know, uh, so, but I think our kids is going to do it. You know, we're going to build <laughs> for our kids. You okay. Know, that, All right. That, that, you know. Man, that is, I don't like that message. <laughs> we got to pass the ball. Pass the ball to our kids. Here's the layup, kid. <laughs> Go get it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Uh, no, we can do it, man. We 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 got to put in the work, man. We, to earn it, we got to earn it. That's what it is. Um, yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't wait to um, you know, get done with school and uh, get a decent paying job remotely, and then um, building myself more on top of that, dude. Like I just, it's just uh, the future is fucking great, man. And um, the only thing that I'm just keeps on holding me back is just um like working hours labor hours and it's just not enough and uh but after this like i think uh if that if that's gonna help me a little bit to to you know get me up and going i think what if uh, what if you relocate to a more affordable place i thought about it um miami okay uh but i you Here's the thing about uh, LA too. Though, like the reason why I just like it so much, man, is just because uh, the because of weather and but the people too, man. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't ever get bored staying there, you know. Uh, and it's always a challenge meeting new people and and new people will challenge you, um, your ego to your patience um, and learning how to control that is part of the big city, you know. It sounds like everywhere, yeah, I, honestly, bro. To make more money, that's that's the key to it, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. I I agree hundred percent with that too. But I think like the cost of living is what's. Uh, I mean, it's what's is is what kills me, you know, the cost of living. So like for for like my personal finances, I just eliminate. I try to eliminate. Like um, you know, when me and my wife got together. We had a lot of credit card debt, and then we just stacked more credit card debt on top of the credit card debt. So it took us like about two years to really eliminate all that debt, and then, um, and then eliminating uh, our poor habits of just you know recklessly spending. And then so now we're mm. at a place where we can finally fucking buy a home, you know. And then so I I think cost of cost of living is is uh. I think that definitely helps. I think that's a great way to uh, approach to uh, a smarter lifestyle. Um, you know, I think maintain it. That's a good way to maintain it. Um, but how do you grow it? You know, yeah. Ten. That's that's the uh, the trick, right? Is to ten x or two x first. You know. Um, but yeah, matter of time. It's matter of time. Yeah. If I get two X, dude, if I can two X and then save twice my time, man, that's that's the goal. And then okay, how do I now how do I three X? So that's it's the working working time. Yeah, working progress. Yeah. I'm gonna find Bentley and then call her <laughs> the Bugatti. <laughs> no, don't no, no, don't trade down the Bugatti. Remember it's the Bugatti. <laughs> Bugatti. We're gonna get the Bugatti and then we're gonna call her live. That's that's it. Oh, that's it. I can't be calling her just like I mean I'm still I'm so chilly. I don't but no 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 no. That's not gonna happen. Oh, man. Anyways, but yeah, man. Um, cool. Uh, is that it for today's segment? Yeah, that's all our videos. Cool. You have uh, you have any last uh, words? Uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to upgrade, bro. Uh, I'm gonna try to upgrade. Um, but the weeks are getting shorter. Um, days are getting shorter. Um, the hours are getting shorter. Fuck, man. I'm just getting old, bro. Uh, one thing I noticed too, like these college kids students. Maybe do you know the answer to this? These college kids keep on asking how old I am. <laughs> they always ask like they were like, "Hey, what's up? What's, what's your name? Hey, how, how old are you?" They always ask that. Like this. You you know why? Oh, the sizing you up, the sizing you up. Is that what it is? Yep. 
That's so funny, bro. No, it's so weird, bro. Every one of them is like, "How old are you?" I'm like, "Chill." Like, I'm like twenty something. <laughs> I'm like, "Why the fuck did I just lie?" Yeah, that's uh that's a big thing in LA, man. Is that everybody's trying to size each other up. That's why the age piece is is very important out there. I think on, on the episode of David So and his uh, Genius Brain podcast, he he mentioned that. And then, um, but then I'll tell you, I'll tell you something funny, like, like, uh, like, so when I went to school, I went to an in-person class, right? And then, and then, you know, in the beginning, beginning of the year, first day of class, everybody could just kind of, you know, introduce himself. And then I, I just said that I was the oldest person in the room. Like I said, uh, I think everybody was like 18, 19. And then, um, my wife's cousin was in the same class and he said he was 30. And then I said I was 32. <laughs> I just and then that was like back then when I I kind of I was like 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 I weighed less and then kind of had a baby face and then I was just like the oldest motherfucker here you know <laughs> uh, just I just I just had fun when when I went to school but I dropped out just because I was like so so it's it's cause I dropped out like I was gonna I was gonna get this two year degree I went. I went to school full time. I worked full time, and I had I had uh, I think three kids at the time, and it was just day in day out, you know. Um, but but then uh, what made me quit school was like I forgot. So there was an online class, and then there's a tab that I I I didn't press because it looked like a title more than more than a tab to press, right? So I so everything every assignment in that tab was never fucking done. But then all the other tabs, you know, I did do the homework in those. And then so when it came to the end of the year, you know, I I had 50% in that class. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I failed that class. And I was like, I did every fucking assignment. And then um, uh, and then at the end, it had all your assignments. And then there's like a bunch of them like that, that had zeros on it. And I was like, where are these fucking assignments? I look at all the pre- tabs. I press on all of them. And then I press on that one. That I just, you know, never pressed. And then I was like, oh, shit. And then so I tried to explain that to the professor. And the professor said, up, oh, can't help you. And then I was like, fuck this place. I don't need this place. I'm getting, uh, I got a good job already, man. I'm going to take this effort. And I'm going to put it somewhere else, man. And so uh, two semesters in. And I dropped out. But um, Damn, bruh. Um, something like that happened to me recently too. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, it's like I'm so new to this fucking thing. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like everything is just like you have to really like read everything, you know. And there was this quiz that I uh, it said like if you start it, then you can't. Like that's it, right? Yeah. And yeah. The time is gonna. Go. That's that's what you get. So I, I I thought that it was like a retake test. So I clicked on it and it started. And I wasn't ready for the t- the quiz yet, so I exited out the tab thinking that it was gonna be set, and I had a zero on it, and I was like, "Fuck, bro!" I was trying to message the professor about it. He was just like, to, "Like, yeah, I can't help you." And I messaged him like, "Hey, man, uh, should I drop out because like, I'm I'm already might fail already. So you still point at me trying if I'm gonna fail already because I have like two other missing assignments that I was late to." Um. It was like a 200 points. I'm like, fuck. Dang. I was like, I'm not going to try to continue if I'm already going to fail. You know what I mean? So yeah. I fucking tried. I am fucking trying. And I am going to try even harder. Um, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I ain't no bitch. You know, I'm going to fucking do the work. And I'm going to learn this shit. I'm going to get fucking my shit done. So, yeah. Awesome, dude. Cool, man. Get it going. Yeah. Man. Get it going. Cybersecurity. Yeah. Well, Look like at right now. It says, hello, officer. I understand it's okay. So he's like, he just messaged me back just now. I was like, hey, officer, uh, professor, I understand that I, you know, the, I can't do that. Others, I mean, so like, would it be possible if I pass the test knowing that I'm, I'm missing that many assignments? He says, hey, Frank, it depends on how you do in the future assignments. I don't know, man. Fuck it. So from here on out, you got to you gotta ace everything, dude. And then maybe he can curve your grade up. Yeah, this motherfucker. <laughs> you just gotta He's get a D. You just gotta get a D, right? 
<laughs> I just gotta pass. I just gotta pass. That's it. I don't even care about the fucking A. I just want my fucking. I just want. To, I just need I'm the. Cool. Yeah, I just need the degree, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fuck uh, this. Yeah, dude. Yeah, with my situation, I fail. I have to retake the fucking class again for another three fucking months, and I was just like. I ain't doing yeah. I ain't doing that shit again, bro. <laughs> a lot of dude like 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 I think it was the the first semester I had a few in person classes and then mm. I was and I was just bullshitting through everything, dude. And then um and then and then so the second semester came and then I was like, you know, I'm gonna do it all online because it's just all bullshit anyways and bullshit through everything. <laughs> Get an A, B, you know, and then I was just like, man, it's easy. Um, but you know, it was just, you know, the, the general classes, you know, for, I think what I was going for was, um, business management. So it's a two year program and then you get that degree and then, but I was like, no, nah, I ain't doing another year of this bullshit. <laughs> are you, are you thinking about maybe, uh, what? Give another, are you thinking about giving another shot or no? Hell no. It's a, it's a, like if I, if I actually paid for the class. Then, you know, I would have followed through, but I, I didn't pay for it. So then I was just like, it's just costing me time. And so I'd rather use that time to to learn, you know, like drop shipping or, or learn some other skill or, you know, build this brand and, you know, where I, a place where I have equity. Like, like even at my job, you know, like I'm able to do it with a great attitude just because I, I think the company is good. I get paid good. The people I work with are nice. Um but even then, like, I'm not, like, super a thousand percent because I have no equity, you know. And then so I, I take this creative, the, the creative energy that I could have at work, I'm taking that, you know, and, and putting it into um, my kids' education, uh, this brand that we're working on, you know, places where I have equity. So that's where, that's where the real stress is. Um, I go to work for a break, so... That's fair, man. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. The, uh, about this brand too, man. Um, I think it's going to take a little bit of time because I, I, I need to start uh, streaming on a regular. Like, I don't mind me streaming, uh, me freaking just do my homework. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that'll be just kind of cool uh, as long as we get the hours in. Um but yeah, like to even do that, like yeah, like just a couple more weeks. Like I'm, we're kind of, it's 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 working. It's 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 coming along. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, that ends today's uh, podcast. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, tuning in for Thursday. Uh, and promise you guys, we'll give you guys. We're gonna be having great new content coming up um i look forward to it and uh me and peter are gonna have a uh, guest the next week oh are we and uh yeah 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 that's that's the plan okay. so we're gonna we want to get some guests next week um but yeah so uh we'll talk to you guys uh, next thursday so uh peter you got anything to say happy leap year it is a leap mm. year this year uh you know why they do a leap year why uh, oh, is it like the, the planet or something like that? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it doesn't about the planet, right? Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever. Yeah, it's a little bit more than 24 hours. So then they did the math and they said, you know what, every year, every four years, we're going to add another 24 hour into the calendar. So that's why there's a leap year. Um, so happy leap year, everybody. You know, uh, for those of y'all born on a leap year, happy uh, birthday. And uh, yeah, you can catch us next thursday every thursday or um see us all the time on our youtube page right link down in the comments um 8 p.m central time 6 p.m pacific standard time 9 p.m eastern standard time this is make it rain podcast we'll see you guys